Today I'm going to be walking you through the installation of the Divnik Golf e-bike bag holder. This can be mounted on an electric bike that you want to use for golf that has a rear rack. Now this uh, plate carrier can be mounted in a couple ways. One, if there's existing holes on the rack, it can be uh, secured with the existing bolt holes uh, and tightened down. Uh, it also comes with a clamp. If you don't have uh, any existing holes, uh, you can uh, secure the clamp on the bottom of this device uh, and simply slide it on your rack and tighten it up. Today we're going to actually use uh, the existing bolt holes and get this mounted. Uh, you will need a couple of tools including a, um, some sort of wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver in order to complete this installation. Um, but it seems uh, basic enough. So we're going to line up our, our bolt holes uh, that we want to use uh, and get our uh, bolts in place. So there we go, I found four bolt holes. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the screws attached um, with their nuts on the bottom. Alright, so now that we have all the bolts attached, one of the nice things about this uh, plate carrier here is you don't need to remove it. Um, the bag mount you'll see in a second actually slides right on here. And I tested with my bike already that it will fold no problem leaving this on in between rounds. So it should be set to go. Um, so now we'll work on mounting the actual plate carrier uh, and show you how that operates. The next part of the setup process involves measuring to make sure your stand is on the ground nicely as it will serve as your kickstand when you get off the bike. You'll then measure this plate which actually serves as the attachment for the bag carrier getting the proper bolt holes aligned on the side. Once you do that, go ahead and mark your holes, uh, remove this from the bike and go ahead and attach them. Now a key point to remember is that your bag will actually pivot out when you park the bike, so you'll need to leave enough room uh, so that your bag will actually tilt, giving your bike a nice stable base as well. So now that we have this in the proper location, we'll go ahead and secure these with this provided bolts. Now the bag carrier does come with a rubber bumper guard to protect your frame of your bike including the brakes and the wheels. Uh, in order to install this you'll actually need to take off the nut here that secures your rear wheel, uh, install this device, and then reattach the nut. Um, that can also just live on there um, and you won't have to worry about affecting the performance of your bike at all. Uh, but a really nice kind of safety feature uh, for you to have. Now the bag carrier itself is really a simple setup. Attach the straps that are provided. You'll notice that they connect with a series of snaps similar to what you'd see on a golf cart. Uh, now these will be used to hold your bag securely in place. The great thing is once you get your bag mounted on here, you really don't need to take it off if you're going to continue to use it. Uh, this can all go as one unit with your bag attached right into your car or trunk. So, to mount the bag, you'd simply put it on the carrier, get the straps connected. I'd recommend going through a handle of your bag, feed them into the side, and close the snaps. Now your bag is nice and secure. You can do that on the top and the bottom. Now you'll see that the bag also sits a little bit above the ground, so there will be a little bit of um, 
area here for the bag to stick in when you actually park uh, your bike on the side.